Okay, here is that ATI Radeon card with a little bit of a loosey-goosey uh, heatsink. Springy. So, that just is. Alright, anyways, this connector is, uh, yeah. And if you look at the four pins, I don't know if you could see them kind of move. So I don't know if any of them are making a connection anymore, so I'm just going to retouch up the solder on it. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I played with a soldering iron and got my fair share of burns and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm not very good at this. I may fuck it up. I don't know if the card actually even works. I just know that when it was in the system it originally came to me in, it... Um, was complaining that the extra power wasn't connected even though indeed it was. See what happens. Oh, we got lights. Noisy video card fan. Uh-oh. You've connected the power extension cable to your video card. Refer to the getting... You have not connected the power extension. Okay. And there's clicking hard drives. Oh, this thing is really ill. Holy. Um, clearly the connector is connected. And it must have been working at one point or another, because otherwise that fan wouldn't necessarily be noisy. That may have been due to the power supply in that machine not being powerful enough. Um, or it could be because of this connector, so we're going to resolder it and I'll try it on that E-Machines T4160 before I button that up. So I'm just waiting for my iron to heat up and we'll get started. Here we go. I'll try to not block this as best I can. This is the iron that I've used for many years. It's uh, I think only like a 25 watt iron or some crap like that. Not very powerful. It doesn't look like it's doing a good job of actually heating these pins at that. Okay, that's looking better. Mm. Yeah, that's looking a little shinier. So anyway, I'm just going to finish playing with this. And I'll show you how bad I did in the end. Okay. It's, uh, it's not pretty, but there are the four pins right there. Little too much solder, but look at that. They don't freaking move anymore when I play with the connector. So, we'll slam it in the machine, see what happens. The card is in. Power is connected. This is a spare pass-through. Somebody put a one of those old Dell caps on there, or it came with the system. I don't know if it's compatible with this, if it's 4X or 8X or PCI GP or whatever the fuck it is, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work, but it's plugged in. Everything's there. And let's see. Ooh, that fan's noisy. Nothing. Okay, let me play around and try to reseat the card. Success! It works! I guess we're going to have to oil the fan. So we'll do that. But let's see if Windows actually detects it, just for shits and grins. How about that? Just by touching up the solder on those connections there, the card doesn't complain, and we get a display. It also took a moment for the BIOS on the card to come up. It found something. I don't know what. Let's see. Looks like the Ethernet is knackered. Okay. I don't know something else. I gotta allow access for that. It found a VGA compatible video controller, dual. So that's good, and we'll see if it comes up. Look at that, Radeon 9800 XT Secondary. The first one, there it is. Beautiful. 
Finish restart required? All right, we'll do that. Okay, here's another YouTube test. Oh. It's somewhat better. I don't know what resolution it's in. It's also still loading the page, so... Try 360. Probably not too well. I hit play. <laughs> yeah, it works. See? Jesus Christ. Well, um, yeah, so this is not going to play YouTube anyway, so let's oil the fan on the card and see if that makes it any quieter. This card is hot just for that short period of time that it was running. But let's take these screws out and see if that buys us anything. I, I don't know. I think I've done this once or twice on a video card. This uh, fan may be too, too far gone to actually save. Those bearings just sound fucking horrible. I mean, fucking horrible. I don't like the way the heat sink is even mounted on this thing. This thing may just be a beauty plate. I don't know. Yeah, well, that helped a lot. All right, um, we have to dismount the fan. Now, to dismount the fan on this card, if you look in the fan, right in here, if I turn it just right, there are screws. There's three of them going around. So let me take those out. And I could also blow it out with compressed air. One. We'll get the screws later. Oh, that is just terrible. It just doesn't even feel good. Like, it doesn't even feel like it's unscrewing from the thing. It may not be. I don't know. Oh, yeah. It's coming up. Okay. And there's three screws. This disconnects from the thing. Oh, looky there. The sticker. This uh, apparently was failing for so long that the sticker itself just has no glue left. I don't think I'm even going to do anything about that. I think I'll just leave it. So, let me get the Earl, which is right over here. This one, because it's bad, I think we'll just give it an extra drop. Well... Yeah, we'll give it three. Now I'm going to let that soak in, blast it with compressed air, and also spin the blades with the compressed air to help disperse the oil a bit while I keep my finger over that so we don't um, get oil all over the place. After that, I'm going to reassemble it and put it back in the machine and then we'll try it out and see how it runs. We're back in. I may need to reseat the card to get a display to come up, but let's see if it's quieter. Oh, how are you doing? How are you doing today? And it came up! Beautiful! There he goes. How are you doing today? All right, so that's it. Fixed another one. Beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. Just a little bit of oil, a little bit of solder, and we got this card working again. So it can hang around for a lot of other old computers that don't need a card like that because it can't handle it. Thanks for watching. You know, like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff.
and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.